Welcome back, everyone. I'm busy with family tonight, so we're going to do a short video with Duchess and Moshalet going through 119 Doom Tower Hard. The hardest stage there is because it has Siffy and Rodos in it. Tell me down below if you think any different, but any wave in the Doom Tower Hard that has Siffy and Rodos are by far the hardest. So we're going to take Moshalet in here. We're going to go over his skills really quick. He can attack anybody that has Leech on on his A1. This is very strong. If you want to do stage 20 and do his A2, put up the leech on everybody along with these fears, get the increased speed to your team, the increased critical damage, and then cut out his A3 and just have him do his A1, you can pretty much drop the wave. That's on wave 20 for dungeons out there. Then on this A3, I mean, look at this. We're stealing all their buffs. We're placing a heal reduction on them. We're getting continuous heals on himself, and then we're doing 50% additional damage if they have no buffs. So really really strong there and this is going to be on a it's on a three turn cooldown but he takes an additional turn which means that's on a two turn cooldown this then goes to a two turn cooldown this champion is top top tier ladies and gents now i don't have him doing all the crazy damage that i could i have him fast and doing debuffs right now later on we will do a legitimate guide on each of these champions duchess and martial led showing you everything they can do but i just have really fast speed really good accuracy to make sure on 119 doom tower hard we can put up these debuffs and decent attack but no real critical damage we'll see we need to make sure we can take out that siffy though we have to kill her to be able to beat that wave we get a siffy a rotos two mountain kings yeah, two Rotos and two Mount Kings. Yeah, that's what we've got. Okay, so Dutch is over here. Whenever we take AoE damage, the whole entire team will ignore 25% of that damage. She's going to be in lead position, of course. Here we are. She's got a speed or decrease the damage taken from AoE attacks by 25%. Your whole entire team, 15% from bosses. Of course, she will revive everybody. Bring us all back at 70% HP. Give us continuous heals. And then she's going to place up the block debuffs buff. So we're not going to take those debuffs. We're going to get increased attack, which is going to help our martial ed. And then we get shield here on the A1. We've got her built up to be high resistance for Arena if we ever want to play her there at 321 speed. Now, you don't need these speeds. You don't need this team. We're just showing you really quick what they're all about. I just want to show you a little bit about how amazing they are. This isn't really to show off or give you, give you great teams with just them powering through it all. But look at this. Look at all the fears we have up. We have a lot of other control. I brought in decreased defense and weaken with our Lydia. Although all these champions besides Duchess and Martial Ed, you can get for free in the game. It takes a very long time. We have Vizix, Syl in here, and our Lydia. But Lydia is helping out, right? She does the strength in where we take 25% less damage. And I wanted to get up a decreased defense and a weaken so we could have Martial Ed do a little bit more damage. Because he's the one in here doing the damage. He's the one that's going to kill the Siffy for us. And to fight through these two Rain Beasts, man... Let's see what we've got. But with all these fears, all the leech, all the fears that Moshalette is putting up right now, with all the protection that Duchess is giving us, is what's going to help us get through here. Obviously, it's a team effort in the Doom Tower. You need control. You want that control when you come through here or you're going to die. But this is one of the hardest waves. Siffy and Rodos, always. And we're going to handle them, I hope, pretty easily. That's that's the dream. That's the hope. So the first wave here is pretty annoying. But look at the mass amount of damage Masha Led will do. That A1, the multiplier on it, is a regular A1 multiplier. But if they have a leech up, he's going to hit everyone with that A1. So it can be extremely strong. His A3 <laughs> hits a lot. Anytime you could do 50% additional damage, it's pretty insane. You can see how he's staying alive. He's healing himself on that A1 as well from hitting everyone. And then he's healing himself with all these regions from that A3. Again, cycling through, right? Taking an additional turn on that A2, cycling through. He's a beast. He's a control with the fear, leech up for everybody, high damage, dealing, just a monster, right? This big bat. And then Duchess is one of the best out there to negate damage. To bring back your party, to block the debuffs, to get that increased attack. Okay, he's down, but we need to control this. We need to control the Siffy. If the Siffy gets loose, we're in trouble. Blocked. There we go. Thank you, Lydia. She locked her out so she can't do anything. She's not going to get up her buffs. 
And now we just stunned her. Great. Marshall Ed, this is you, buddy. Let's get her. Let's kill her. Um, okay, that wasn't his A3. That was his A1. Not everybody had up leech. Maybe he's going to get a big hit here. This is hurting, right? This is definitely a team effort. We've got our Duchess protecting everyone, but Duchess is taking the hits right now. We need the we need some more fears up and let the fear kick in so they don't take a turn. That would be nice. We can't do anything against the Rotos with the Siffy here. That's why it's so difficult. Every time the Rotos takes a turn, hey, there we go. All right. Nice. Every time Rotos takes a turn, all debuffs are removed. So he's going to take his turn before he takes his turn. So it's really, really broken for all of you out there. All of you at in-game out there, it's extremely broken. But we did it. We're going to survive. There's no way we're going to die here now. The whole entire team can control this. These guys are going down. Especially, I mean, the, the fear. 50% chance for them to not take a turn is <laughs> insanely powerful. It's powerful everywhere in the game. And then now we were able to tank through it. Did we revive anybody? Oh, we revived Marshalled. That's right. So Duchess revived Marshalled. And then with Ally Protect from Vizix, we were able to tank out some other parts. Or maybe when Duchess was being hit, we had Vizix Ally Protect up. And the increase attack along with all these buffs. I mean, this team is just killing the buffs. Look at all these buffs Marshalled has on him right now. Because he's self-buffing. He's buffing all of us. Increased critical damage with him. The increased speed, which also Duchess is giving us too. But he's doing it more often. And now we're just tearing him up. So not bad, right? I mean, you can see how these two operate. That's basically, I guess, the idea of this video. It's just to show you how these two champions operate. How amazing they are in a long fight like this. Over time, you can see how Duchess is giving us all this protection. How amazing she is with that passive especially when it comes to something like Arena, where we're taking a lot of AoE damage. She's, she's going to negate 25% of that, but make sure she's in lead position or second position. Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff with position and people's passive lately. So it's not even, like, we've already known position on counterattack, on pull-in champions and all the rest, but we never knew, or I never knew, that you had to have the position of somebody like Duchess that says that it negates all that damage higher up in your turn order for it to really take effect. Otherwise, if we put her back into our third position, she's not going to negate the people in front of her as far as AoE damage goes. <laughs> That's pretty insane. That is all pretty insane to find out. So she is in lead position. She's got a speed lead, so it works out well. And she's negating now 25% of that AoE damage that we take. And it's massive. It's massive against the clan boss. It's massive against, especially against Arena. So I hope you pull either one of these this weekend. Whatever you're searching for, whatever you're looking for, I hope you get both of them maybe. On Saturday, we're going to have a 10 times, 2 times Moshaled. On Sunday, we're going to have a 10 times, 2 times Duchess. I just did a video on that. Go check it out. It's three minutes long just to let you know what's going on with a 2 times sacred event happening this weekend. We are all very excited for this. Now, I didn't show you the stats on the rest of these champions. They are all fast. They are all for Doom Tower for control, we have a stun set on Vizix, a stun set on Sill. Sill is at 212 speed, Vizix is at 270 speed, and she has around 300 accuracy, 300 resistance. They're all pretty much super in game. I'm not trying to show you this so you can make this exact team. I'm just trying to show off these two champions, the two main champions that we're going to have for the 10 times, two times this week. And that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Just something a little different before I go to bed and relax with the family. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon. <laughs>